can you blow my mind? Hey, Ricky. Hey, Ricky. Your sister. That's courtesy of her. You're trying not to smile on her. Alright. Let's try that. Look at me. Oh, ain't he pretty? One, two, three, go. Well, I guess you can tell that this is the support now for the outpost compost toilet. Um, this beam right here is just a little bit short, but that's okay because I've got, what, um, a good seven or eight inches I'm actually sitting on that log. This other one's going to get cut off, and I will get me some one-inch dowels, drill me a hole. I'll peg those down back there. But these are going to be the supports for. Um, remember I said that the little bridge will start right here and it will rise and go over that way. There will be a flat section between here and the door that you actually open. Um, so I'll cut another short piece of post to go right here for this handrail to come on over. And I'll lock that into the uh, corner that I built for the outpost. But I mean for the toilet. Outpost compost toilet um, But yeah had these left over from the kitchen they work real good here now I just got to make some that are curved a little bit to make my bridge and then I've got to find a couple that are curved to make my handrail so We're coming right along
if you're new to the channel, um, this is me working on the cabin. Um, I have to have all the siding cut and the stick framing really before I begin again. I've got a little small wall that I'm building underneath my bottom beam, um, but that's not going to take long. So while I have good weather, what I intend to do is go ahead and try to cut up this. And two, um, this is a channel that's about building a homestead. So I'm also today going to be working on an outdoor compost toilet that I've started, which is a new project. So I've got several projects going at one time. Um, I try to do a little bit of this every chance I get uh, so that once I get this stacked up and ready to go, I can start on the cabin again uh, pretty much full time. But I do need to get a uh, toilet done. I've got my kitchen pretty much done besides the earth and oven, which I'm saving for later. Um, so I've got a nice place to cook now. I need a nice place to go to the bathroom and um, so what I've got is a log that I'm going to, it's kind of curved and bent because I'm going to build a small archway bridge over to the toilet because it's being built off the bank. And so I had to get this cant off the sawmill before I could load that other log on. So I'm going to back this trailer up there, unload it, take the tractor down there, bring that log up here and see if we can cut it up uh, to where it's about five inches thick with the curve. And then I'll take the chainsaw and finish cutting out my arch. Uh, for that Japanese style bridge. So let me get rid of this trailer and I'll meet you behind the sawmill. You can see what a big curve this tree has in it, but more so, it is full of pine rosin. So what I'm going to do is get my axe out here. That's normally the easiest way for me to take it off. And I've been saving it in this big bag right here. So. There's huge chunks. I mean, it's, it's all over this. Let me show you. See, this is a huge chunk. to start fires with for a long time. Look, look what a huge chunk. It only takes a little bit.
that sun
Well, that about does it for the foundation. Um, I'll come back, I'll measure that, measure that, make sure these are exactly parallel. Then I'm going to cut two pieces out. I'm going to go across this way in there, across that way. That'll keep the post real tight up top. I'm going to do the same thing on the back side. Uh, when I get the house on there, that will hold that together as long as well as all of the um, planks that I put across this way. So, yeah, I think that that is a nice little transition. Um, it'll be comfortable. It's not anything too big. Um, I'm going to have to build up a little bit of dirt right here. But what I'm going to do is I will make a turn and kind of go that way with a little bit of a walkway. And, yep, that's going to be real nice. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this little video. It takes a long time to haul the log in there, saw it up, measure it out, cut it up, get it in here um, and try to film the whole process but uh, that's what I enjoy doing and I hope that you certainly enjoy watching. I want to thank each and every one of you all for supporting our channel. Love from us uh, because we couldn't thank you enough for that. Um, we hope everybody has a great afternoon. Take care. We look forward to seeing you back up here at the Outpost next time.